Hey, Shalom, Big Daddy Biggs here, ProductReviewDude.com, and this is February the 15th, and today's reading from the Tree of Life version of the Bible, this is Through the Year with Big Daddy Biggs, uh, Through the Bible in a Year with Big Daddy Biggs, and today's scriptures are ch Numbers chapter 9 and 10, and this is the Tree of Life version of the Bible, and let's get started. Second month, Passover. Adonai spoke to Moses in the Sinai wilderness in the first month of the second year after they had come out of the land of Egypt, saying, B'nai Yisrael is to observe Passover at its appointed time. You are to celebrate it at its appointed time at twilight on the fourteenth day of this month with all its rules and regulations. So Moses told B'nai Yisrael to observe Passover. They celebrated Passover at twilight on the 14th day of the first month in the Sinai, Sinai wilderness. In accordance with all that Adonai commanded Moses, so B'nai Yisrael did. However, there were some men who could not celebrate Passover because of being defiled by a dead body. So they came to Moses and Aaron on that same day, and these men said to him, We have become unclean because of a dead man's body. Why should we be kept from presenting the offering of Adonai to the appointed time, at the appointed time, with the rest of B'nai Israel? Moses answered them, Wait, and I will inquire what Adonai commands concerning you. Then Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, Say to B'nai Israel, saying, if any man, whether you are you or your descendants, becomes unclean because of a body or is away on a long journey, he may yet observe Adonai's Passover. They are to celebrate it at twilight on the fourteenth day of the second month. With matzot and bitter herbs, they are to eat it. They are not to leave any of it until morning or break any bones. When they celebrate Passover, they are to observe all its regulations. But the person who is clean and not away on a journey, yet neglects to celebrate Passover, that soul shall be cut off from his people because that person did not present Adonai's offering at the appointed time. That man will bear his sin. If an outsider living among you would celebrate Passover to Adonai according to the requirements so he should do, there will be for you the same regulation for the outsider and the native of the land, the cloud as the guide. On the day the tabernacle was erected, the cloud covered the tabernacle by evening until morning. The cloud above the tent of the testimony had an appearance like fire. It was that way continually. The cloud covered it and by night it appeared like fire. Whenever the cloud lifted up, from above the tent, then Benai Yisrael would set out, and at the place where the cloud settled, there Benai Yisrael would encamp. At the mouth, at the mouth of Adonai, Benai Yisrael set out, and at the mouth of Adonai they would encamp. All the days that that, that the cloud remained over the tabernacle, they would remain in camp. <clears throat> When the cloud would remain over the tabernacle many days, B'nai Yisrael would obey the command of Adonai and not set out. At times, the cloud stayed over the tabernacle only a few days. At Adonai's word, they would encamp, and at Adonai's word, they would set out. At times, they would remain on the, only from evening until morning. When the cloud would lift, they would set out. Whether by day or by night, when the cloud lifted, they would set out. Whether for two days or a month or a year, while the cloud remained over the tabernacle, B'nai Yisrael remained encamped and would not set out. But when it would lift, they would set out. At Adonai's word, they would encamp, at, and at the mouth of Adonai they set out. They obeyed Adonai's order by Moses' hand. Numbers chapter 10 Silver Trumpets for Assembly Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, Make two trumpets of hammered silver for yourself. They are for summoning the community and having the camps set out. Whenever both are sounded, the whole community is to gather toward you at the entrance of the tent of meeting. But if only as a, a, a but if only one is sounded, the princes 
the heads of the tribes of Israel are together toward you. When you sound the trumpet the first time, the camp of those encamped on the east is to set out. When you sound the trumpet blast the second time, the camp on, of those camped on the south is to set out. Short blast will be the signal of their moving out. To gather the whole national community, you are to sound the sustained blast, but not the short blast. The sons of Aaron, the Kohanim, will blow the trumpets. This is to be an eternal ordinance for you as well as for your generations to come. Whenever you go to war in your own land against the enemy who is hostile toward you, you are to sound a short blast of alarm. Then you will be remembered before Adonai your God and be delivered from your enemies. Also, at your days of rejoicing, feast of new and new moons, you are to blow on the trumpets over your burnt offerings and fellowship offerings. They will then be a reminder for you before Adonai your God. I am Adonai your God. Journey from Sinai. On the twentieth day of the second month of the second year, the cloud lifted from above the tabernacle of the testimony. Then Benai Yisrael set out on their travels in the Sinai wilderness. The cloud came to rest in the wilderness of Paran. So they set out the first time by the mouth of Adonai by Moses' hand. The standard of the camp of the sons of Judah set out first by their divisions. Over them was Nashon, son of Amminadab. Over the division of the tribe of the sons of Issachar was Nathaniel, son of Zuar. Over the division of the tribe of the sons of Zebulun was Eliab, son of Helon. Then the tabernacle was dis disassembled, and the sons of Gershon and Merari, who were carrying it, set out. The standard of the camp of Reuben then set out by their divisions. Over his division was Eliezer, son of Shadur. Shelumiel, son of Zuri Shaddai, was over the division of the tribe of the sons of Simeon. Over the division of the tribe of the sons of Gad was Elisaph, son of Deuel. Then the co Kohathites set out carrying the holy items. The tabernacle was to be erected before their arrival. The standard of the camp of the sons of Ephraim set out next by their divisions. Over his division was Elishama, son of Amihud. Over the division of the tribes of of the over the <laughs> over the division of the tribe of the sons of Manasseh was Gamliel, son of Pedeshur. Over the division of the tribes of the sons of Benjamin was Abidan, son of Gideoni. The standard of the camp of the tribe of the sons of Dan being the rear guard of, the, of all the camps set out by their divisions. Over his division was Izer, son of Ami Shaddai. Pajiel, son of Okran, was over the division of the tribe of the sons of Asher. Ahira, son of Enon, was over the division of the tribe of the sons of Naphtali. This is the order by which Benai Israel, by the division, set out. Moses said to Hobab, son of Riel, Ruiel, the Midianite, Moses' father-in-law, We are setting out to the place which, about which Adonai said, I will give it to you. Come with us, and we will do good to you, because Adonai has spoken goodness to Israel. But he said to him, I will not go, because I would rather go to my own country and my, to my own people. But he said, Do not leave us now, because you know where we should camp in the wilderness. You can be like eyes to us. If you come with us, we, shall, we will share with you whatever good Adonai gives to us. So they advanced from the mountain of Adonai, a trip of three days, the Ark of the Covenant of Adonai, going ahead of them for those three days to seek out a resting place for them. The cloud of Adonai was over them by day when they advanced from the camp. Whenever the Ark would set out, Moses would say, Arise, Adonai, may, may your enemies be scattered. May those who hate you flee from before you. Then, whenever it came to rest, he would say, Return, Adonai, to the myriad 
thousands of Israel. Y'all make it a blessed day. God loves you. I love you. And we will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.